Hello, I'm Sergeant John Zimmerman. I joined the U.S. Army National Guard July 21st, 2003. Hello, my name is Sergeant Jess George. I've been in the Army National Guard for six years. Hello, my name is Sergeant Jeremy Carter. I joined the Army National Guard August 28th, 2002. My name is Ben Janelle. I served in the uh, Air National Guard for about seven and a half years, and I was a staff sergeant. I went to basic training in Fort Sill, Oklahoma. After that, I came home. I've been to combatives level one and two and combat lifesaver course. Also, I've been deployed to Taji, Iraq in 2008. I joined the Guard in 02. I left for basic in uh, 2003 at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Uh, after completing basic training, I was shipped off in 03, or 04 to uh, Iraq for my first deployment. I came home in 2005. Uh, in 2008, I was later called back to uh, go back overseas to Iraq for my second deployment, and I returned home in, uh, in December of 2008. I attended boot camp in uh, Lackland Air Force Base and then spent the better part of the rest of the year in uh, Biloxi, Mississippi, uh, going to my tech school to be a computer systems operator. Uh, I've served tours in the United Arab Emirates as well as uh, Bagram Airfield in Afghanistan. I conducted my basic combat training at Fort Knox, Kentucky. I've also been stationed in Maryland, mechanic train, training. I've also been at Fort Sill, Oklahoma, artillery training, and I've done one tour in Taji, Iraq. When 9-11 occurred, I was at the, uh, coming up the hill at Ola High School, where I, I was a junior, and I was coming up from basketball practice. I seen people kind of running towards the library, you know, and I got up there, and I was just in shock of what it, just took place. I actually got to see the second plane hit and it just, I was in total shock. Uh, I pretty much knew after that, you know, I wanted to join the military and defend my country. Uh, felt like it was not really an obligation, but an honor to join the military after that happened. And uh, I feel like 10 years down the road, it has made us as a country stronger, uh, a lot more patriotic, and uh, we stick together a lot more. When 9-11 happened, I was in uh, Hudson, North Carolina uh, high school. We were actually in computer class, and we thought it was just the world's worst aviation accident when it first happened. Uh, and it was just such a strange deal to, to watch the news reports when the second plane hit and to know that that was just no accident and uh, to know that it was an act of war against uh, the people of America. Uh, ten years later, I believe that we've, we've become a stronger country, we've become more focused on God, and that uh, that was probably the best thing that could have come from it, but just the, the anger and the sadness to feel for the families that were affected and to, to know that that's what it took for us to get here has uh, always been disheartening. When 9-11 occurred, I was sitting at Danville High School, second period in my homeroom class. When, it, uh, when the event occurred, I felt angry, it was shocking, and it was just a horrible experience to watch on the news that day. Ten years later, being in the National Guard, it's still feelings of anger watching the documentaries and the movies. And it's always going to be a tragedy for the world, and especially for the United States of America. Ten years ago today, I was sitting on my couch at home watching the news. I was a senior in high school, and I remember when the first plane came in, uh, my mom came and got me and told me that the, the tower had been hit. I came in there and watched. I couldn't get up from the couch and I remember watching the second plane came in, come in and it really, I was really upset, angry and we heard that it was a terrorist attack and that definitely sparked me to be in the military and want to defend our country and 10 years later um, I still feel the pain every year that I see it on TV it bothers me when I watch it on the news and it just makes me even more proud of the decision I made to join the National Guard and defend my country.